Happy Tuesday. It's the start of a new weekly vlog. I am gonna try my best to get another weekly vlog up. I was thinking to myself, what is actually going on this week that I, is gonna be vloggable? <laughs> I just made that word up. There isn't really much that comes to mind, but it is my final solid week without Matt. He's coming back middle of next week. I'm not too sure exactly when he'll be back. All I know is it's it's going to be next week at some point. So this is my last full week and my last full weekend. Yeah, I'm still not even too sure if that is a vloggable week because <laughs> when Matt's not here, I'm running with Storm Monday and Friday, working Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and the rest of the time, I'm mumming. <laughs> I will note that yesterday I finished off my weekly vlog by opening up Matt's mail and I also started the video that's going to be coming out on the 1st of April so that's my last free runs with Storm. I'm going to do like a goodbye farewell Storm video and because <laughs> both videos so this weekly vlog is going to be a mixture of days and because that vlog that i'm putting out as a goodbye storm is going to be a mixture of three days i kept like getting confused as to be like okay i'm filming a clip but which clip is for which because yesterday i was also finishing off my other weekly vlog which is a combination of other clips so i had to get that weekly vlog done edit finished scheduled for friday then i had to just focus on what i filmed for my goodbye storm video get that filmed edited and it's now sat there waiting for me to do some more clips for on friday <laughs> now i'm starting a new weekly vlog <laughs> so i need to get my head in the game and be a, a bit more organized this is what i mean when i was worried about not getting into the swing of things because when i do a run with me and i film just on that run i have the clips there done dusted and i don't have to think about any other video i just have to get that edit done and scheduled so <laughs> i probably shouldn't have done so many multiple day filming videos but we try <laughs> i've also thought about the timeline of things so today is tuesday the 12th of march and i'm going to be talking about the fact that i've got like two weeks left or three weeks left of until matt comes home in the videos that are coming out every week so the, the timeline is going to be totally messed up but if you notice that then this is this is why it's because it, it's all it's all been filmed totally random and i'm not a seasoned vlogger so i need to get my head in the game and i need to get used to this <laughs> but i had someone comment um on a previous video of mine when i mentioned doing a weekly vlog saying that it might help with the loneliness it might be like having lots of friends in my pocket <laughs> and i really like that for yeah i really like that idea and it does feel like that actually when i was doing that weekly vlog I'm probably chatting a bit too much now so i'm going to get a cup of tea made i'm going to do as much housework as i can fit in before i need to start work I've got 31 minutes before I've got to be on my laptop, so, okay. If you want a pup date, this is what Storm's up to. <laughs> you listening? You listening to me? Oh, oh, oh. That is his treat cupboard. Get a husky, because it's all me, 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 me. <laughs> oh, it's all me. You win. Oh, he even sat. There we go. You win. Good boy. <laughs> Hello, handsome. <laughs> it's Wednesday. I've just dropped my daughter off at school. And then I have to get onto my laptop and start work because it's Wednesday. I've got 29 minutes to be exact. <laughs> this time next week, Matt's going to be home. And also, in a few weeks during Easter, we're going to be heading over to Disneyland Paris, which is so exciting, especially for my daughter. Uh, Matt's never been. Because I'm doing these weekly vlogs, I'm going to get a vlog done as well. I'm going to just get bits done. What we did for Orlando, I vlogged the whole trip, but because I don't like to show my daughter online, we have those videos for us to watch at home. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be posting those and they're really long one of the videos is 77 minutes long <laughs> so long but don't worry i won't be vlogging 77 minutes worth of me in disneyland paris um <laughs> yeah i'm gonna be vlogging that so i'm really excited for that actually that's in like a few weeks time i'm looking forward to having some help with something anything help with the housework, because we're looking after Chloe, so I can go for a run. I'll actually be able to head out to the gym in the evenings again. I haven't, I gave up on the gym because I tried to fit it in around my runs and I ended up having to sacrifice a run with Storm in the week just so I can go to the gym. 
and I decided it's better for Storm and it's probably better for me if we are running together twice a week instead of just once a week because yeah even just only being able to go twice a week is just like oh, no. yes when he comes back I'm gonna be loving it I'm gonna have a bit more freedom there's only so much freedom you get but yeah <laughs> I've started work and I'm thinking it's not going to be a fun day for me so how about we see how many cups of tea i can get through on a wednesday while i'm working this is number one <laughs> and if things get really bad i have an emergency morale boost i have ice in the freezer and i have a diet coke in the fridge so we're just going for mini morale boost and hopefully we don't need to break open that fridge. In case you're wondering, I'm part of a sales team and I work from home alone. <laughs> so all of the stress that's been put on me, I've put on myself. Just want to make that clear. It's, it's all me doing it to me because I want to be good at my job. Anyway, I've made my tea. Let's, let's crack on. That didn't take me long. <laughs> okay. We're on to tea number two. It's half 11, I'm two hours in, and I'm on tea number two. Not too bad, not too bad, we're getting there. Hello. Oh, no, Stormy. I'm having a tea, not you having a treat. We're on to number three. Second to last time for six months together, but I'm gonna get this run started. <sighs> and I am back. <laughs> Thirty-six and a half minutes worth of running. Hold on, he's looking at me. Did you do good today? Good boy. And before I left, I put the hot water on, which is something I sometimes forget to do, so I don't have to wait. I'm gonna get some stretching done in the garden. Oh God, I'm so sweaty. I'm gonna have a wash, wash my hair, and then I need to go to Tesco's. So I'm running low on quite a few bits, so I'm gonna get that done. And then by the time that's done, I will have some lunch, then do some housework, then get my daughter then make dinner and then I'm taking a swim in after dinner then the weekend will start <laughs> I thought I'd quickly put this in the vlog because it made me laugh this is my Mother's Day card that Matt sorted from my daughter obviously I'm gonna cover my daughter there's me in Snow White oh my goodness inside the card he put like a little message one from our daughter and <laughs> one from Storm and he's put in brackets where has he gone it's been five years and the reason he did that is he googled how long is six months in dog years and it's five years it made me laugh because it's quite a funny thing for him to do but it also broke my heart a little bit that storm's not had matt for what he feels like five years <laughs> i did tell matt that we should do like a um i should try and capture on video storm seeing him when he gets back i don't think i'm going to be able to because he's going to be coming back quite late at night and i'm going to be in bed asleep so <laughs> i'm not going to see storm seeing him for the first time it's saturday and i just thought i would mention something i went shopping yesterday does anybody else do this i went shopping and the ultimate reason is i needed some spray that's all i have left didn't remember to buy any. <laughs> I was thinking, when I go shopping, especially when I'm on my own and Matt's away, if I'm completely alone and I feel like the temptation to buy something naughty, just for me <laughs> to eat alone in the evening, you, you know, when you're in that mood. I have a few things that I use, a few, I'm gonna call it another tactic, even though every time I say that, it's not really a tactic, but it is what it is. <laughs> I feel like when I'm in that mood, I'm craving for instant gratification. The reason I have been so successful in my running is I suppress the need for my gratification to be instant, my results to be instant, I delay my gratification. I know that what's meant to come will come with time. But when I'm in that mood and I just want to have something that's gonna take me over my calories, definitely, for that evening. I have other ways of giving myself instant gratification when I go shopping that doesn't involve calories at all. So I just thought I would mention these. Just on the list, I bought myself some flowers. These are fresh cut flowers 
two pounds instant gratification and not only that i get to watch them grow for the next five days this one popped out just overnight second of all a candle also if you're in tesco's get this this is the nicest smelling candle i found in a very long time light a candle make your house smell nice instant gratification feel better also this one is quite nice as well but not as nice as the other one but still it's nice along the same lines as a candle oh so focus on storm this spray and also this is a really really nice scent this is another really good buy especially when you have a stinky dog i spray this on my sofas my curtains one of the tricks i do is i spray a little bit on the radiator before i put the heating on and it fills the room with the smell i know that was really all like homely scenty smelly stuff but for me i have found especially since moving here and not really liking where i am or really liking the house making it smell nice and homely cheers me up it distracts me and it makes my evenings feel a lot nicer i can settle down watch a film light a candle it is an instant gratification i take a shot every time i say that <laughs> this washing machine is so loud but hopefully that helps i mean it is one of those little little tricks that i use instead of picturing myself at home with those goodies that i've been looking at in the shop i can picture myself in a nice smelling house comfy house i could spend the evening cozy watching a film i would much rather do that and i won't feel guilty about doing that than i would if i was just off at the blue bought something that i really didn't need to buy just gone completely over my calories and thought oh i've ruined it anyway i might as well keep going you know the cycle <laughs> it's a bit later on saturday and I've had a delivery and I might as well unbox it with you guys because well I unboxed other things at the end of last week's weekly vlog so I might as well do it tonight. This isn't going to be what I do at the end of every weekly vlog that's for sure. <laughs> I just happen to have some trainers delivered. They're not riding trainers unfortunately but I'm not in the market for those yet but as soon as I am you'll be some of the first lot to know. <laughs> Open this up and then we'll chat. I got some New Balance trainers. I've been needing an everyday shoe, nice pair of trainers. So I went online and had a look to see what everyone was wearing <laughs> that I liked. And I went with these. I think I made the right choice. These are the New Balance 530s. And you can get them in quite a few different shades, but I chose the white on white so these are going to be the brightest trainers i've ever had they're not going to stay like this but at least they're not for running so they are going to last a lot longer in this condition than they would do <laughs> if i was running in them they look really really nice really nice and slick i just wanted an, a comfortable everyday trainer especially heading out to disneyland paris there's going to be a lot of walking going on when i was in florida last year i actually had to ditch my trainers i had my blue new balance trainers i had to ditch them in epcot and i bought myself some disney crocs hold on got myself some black disney crocs they were, I think they were like $65 or something like that. They definitely weren't something I was looking to buy on my holiday at the time, but I desperately needed them. So I was walking around Epcot with my Disney Crocs and they were so, they were so lovely after all that time in trainers that were just falling apart at that point. <laughs> what I tend to do is retire running shoes and wear those as my everyday. That's what I tend to be doing. I feel like you're, you're gonna get a lot more of your money's worth as well if you do that. So, but at the moment I'm in need of an everyday shoe, but none of my running trainers are about to be retired. <laughs> also, some of my trainers I won't be wearing as an everyday shoe when they are retired, like my um, Alpha Flies. I am not going to be walking around Tesco's and doing school drop off in Nike Alpha Flies. <laughs> I am going to leave this weekly vlog here and I'm going to start afresh next week. Thank you so much for watching and yeah, see you on Monday for a video. I don't know what it is yet because YouTube and vlogging. <laughs> Bye guys.